y'all. I'm Brushfire Windragon, and welcome back to Delta Room. I'm not sure how much farther I've got to go, but uh, I think I am very close to the end finally. Let's see. Enough worms. Let's rules card. I may have cheated the the mind puzzles, but combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, maids, prepare for battle with Whatever this is. <laughs> it's um the key checker, whatever the I don't remember the name either. earlier. But its crown looks different. It looks the same. Yes, with my control crown, I may have to control any Disney shape of life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful. But I'm certain it's she will fill a food when it sees how much more pain that will be in. Here it comes again. Oh yeah, King Round, that's what it's called. <gasps> Susie, what idea do you have? Susie, you want to act? Aw, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Alright. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Ralsei at it. Ugh. Cran loosened a little. I'm sorry, Ross. Twenty percent loose. Okay then. <gasps> the crown greatly loosened and even made the special noise. <laughs> Loose. Okay. Man, it's even lower than before. Crown loose is a little. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Ah! Sorry, Susie. Crown greatly loosened. Eleven dark dollars. <laughs> Why brilliant, this brilliant I knew this good. Now can I do? Now see if that was really a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won and now nothing blocks my path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. Uh, you luck be with you, heroes. I think I finally found a voice for him. This is a throne room. Pretty. Okay. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a st Uh oh. Riches, they shine with avarice. Okay. I 
I can't look at that. Same thing. Oh. Wow, banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. What did Rule's card do up here? <coughs> that didn't work right. <laughs> hey, there's Lancer. Lancer. And his dad. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? No, but, but I did even better! Turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you, and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? I can't do a voice yet. Um, um... Right here. Hey! It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yeah, yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Uh, don't get too attached. Aw. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lance. They, didn't, they care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had a feeling he was not a good dad anyway. Let him go. <laughs> Want me to let him go? How about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter, and let you all kneel and learn the points. Will it be lighters? Don't listen to him, Susie. Help! Help! Oh, no. Now watch the answer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. Oh! Lancer attacked him. What, what the? You, you traitor! Come back here! All right, enough already. What the hell do you think you are? My people, I know. I'm the bad guy. Is that a reference to Wander Over Yonder? I mean, it's a fun reference anyway, but. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Huh? Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing taught the king red buster. How dare you come here, light nurse? Sorry, Rolfi. Rousey tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a way where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple minded people. Shame you will not live to realize your naive people. Set of lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Rousey's will is changing. Talk to Kim Dole Hill. You that left us in the shadow stripped of meaning. Uh oh. Ah oh, gosh.
who shone, solo shined its power on Rousey. Rousey cast dual heal. You dare return the twin in once again? King's not babbles in decipherably. Um, which one? You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shadow your heart to pieces. The will is changing to talk to King Courage. Be gone, we have found fresh purpose. Ah, yeah. Door heal where the night has appeared. Right. You encourage the party, the party's defense raised for this turn. The night that pulls the fountains from the earth. Good thing I boosted the defense. Oh no, Rousey! Rousey's blows right now. Holy that is a shadow of the world, our world. Ah, oh, dang it, I lost Rousey again. Ah, oh, great, I lost her again. Oh, gosh. Shard is just something that needs to be held. So, so King, abandoned by the light, nurse's heart became cracked with hatred. You cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness. So he's got a partner shall rule. Oh, it. Gotta let him say his piece, I guess. Hill. Oh good. Then you may see what it is to look like to live in despair. I still haven't created a voice the voice for him yet. Uh.
your damage up there. Okay, got the lines of cookie and hill pack prayer. Uh she's using the only one gun. Ah, uh, before the chain adjust. Oh no, it's this one. Raise for this turn. Rose really Rose Rue. Ah, you're quite strong, aren't you? Your soul shine its power on Rossi. Rossi can't fool you. I keep fighting you like this, then. Ugh, oh, sorry, Rossi. He has more HP or something? He encouraged the party. Raise defense. It seems that. Uh. Ah, sorry, Ralsei. the end enough is enough I see I see that I cannot defeat you I have grown exhausted from my large long battle he kind of makes the same face as Lancer does when he's unhappy my nerves uh, perhaps I, I have been too cruel this cat like the truth is I was not always this way there once was a time where darkness and lightners lived in harmony, a time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, did not yearn for those days. <gasps> perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Susie. Uh, uh. Come now, Susie. Come on, Susie. There we go. I know that was hard to do. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. My apologies. I'm not used to fighting like that. He's sick or something. Something's wrong. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Yeah, healing abilities. Come on, Rousey. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Well, let's see. Oh, no! Never better. You... You. Did I say you could get up? Chris! Oh, scare me the heroics. It's 
not even a spade shape anymore. You have a leader on you. So, what's your plan? Laugh as you cast us all back into the obscurity. You can't even say, Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? Talk, talk to talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. <gasps> we'll answer everyone. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. But I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners? Everyone remembered how kind they were. They decide they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Oh, I'm the dad! <laughs> you idiots. Lightners are your enemies. Wolves. Kill you are. Kill all of you. Yikes, I think someone needs to go now. Go to your room, dad. No! <laughs> Alright, Chris. Ross's hat. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're all right. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. She's got a scar, though. Chris, Susie, I'm I'm so sorry. Because I killed the king, we almost, we almost. Susie, you were right. I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. If you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie, you're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get too used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I, I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh, see ya. The fountain, though. I suppose that counts, though? Eh. Huh? Chris, you want to go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Eh, well, if you're going to make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Yes! Chris, Susie, you came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making puzzles, the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorials, so try your best. Best! You're the best! Ah. Ah. There we go. Okay. Honestly, we owe you. Even the little ball can say something like, thank you. Thank you, I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sham to come here, but... There wasn't any interest at all. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Alright. The great work! <laughs> Darn horsey, you've got even... I 
Abby, you went and d did us a great big help. <laughs> now, you've been doing us a big help. Now all of us, all in of us pieces can live in pieces. Uh, <laughs> you did it. You asked it the wrong tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears in this case. I did nothing! A rose card. Wonderful work, my amigos. Thou hast toppled us the tyrant. Treat us, our treat us. Truly, a history shall not forget the tale of rose card and the three heroes. Yeah, no. <laughs> do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. Okay. I'm just gonna say the same thing. Uh. My future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. I hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next birthday, too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Okay, I'll just try to talk to everyone one time. As he looked at you proudly. Kiss! Oh well. <laughs> What's going on? I slipped through everything. Ah. Uh. Oh, all the animals are back in their cages. Oh no. Us animals says it's okay if the king stays. The, us animals decide it's okay if the king stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> Woohoo! What about us? Are we going to be restored as kings? Ah, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie! New person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. <laughs> they were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye to your friend. Uh, I mean, I... I did not want to. Um, so, you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. <laughs> hey, your dad was um, protecting the fountain, right? Is it going to be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's, up, it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Come back soon! There's always room in town for a couple of clowns! Ah, uh, I like Lancer. Baba Reba, what a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it! Then what's the point of the cake? <laughs> Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Oh, uh, that's as far back as we can go, it looks like. I wonder if Lancer will say anything else. You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. <laughs> I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Oh. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I, I just wanted to say I, I, 
I really enjoyed meeting you two. And <laughs> hey, can you stop mumbling in your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. oh, he is a good boy. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? <laughs> Susie's so surprised! <laughs> Yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. His horns are a different color than Azriel's. I can't do anything here. I wonder what's happening. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time. No time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Yep. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Ooh, determination, I think. Ah -ha -ha -ha! I can't see anything. <laughs> hey, watch it. <gasps> huh? The unused classroom? That's that's the field and the forest and the checkerboard and the cards? Legos, maybe? How do we get here? She still has the scar and everything, so it's not like it didn't happen. It's just a very weird day. Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. Oh. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Something's missing here. It's a light switch. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Oh. The door is locked. Yeah. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Legos. I guess that's chalk. It's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Is that one of the other kids? Okay. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Aww. 
Eh. Looks like Susie actually learned something. Is that the closet we went into? The door is locked. It's like we went into the storage closet and came out. <laughs> Do you like breathing? Moving fast with or without legs? But usually with legs? Join the cross country team with jockeying to the north. You ran the water fountain. It's tepid. You ran the water fountain. It's refreshingly cool. Okay. Ah. Oh. Locker. It's locked. It's like we went in the storage closet and came out the classroom. Oh, this is to mess. Mess tutorial. So. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. I'm, uh oh. Some kind of primitive sculpture knows what it represents. So, Miss might mean she's just not married anymore. I mean, we didn't see any, uh, Algor Asgore. Asgore. <laughs> the throne of the gods. It's all the children's seats. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a poster. Several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square, hyperdodecahedron. I think that's 12 sides? <laughs> okay, it's some kind of DJ food is an apple. It's a computer. It's desktop wallpapers. You and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. I thought I could see what time it is. Evidently not. Oh yeah, Sadie Hawkman's dance. You know, Chris is the only human we've seen so far. <laughs> you check the time. It seems to not be time for class. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf. Even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. Where did the seats go? I guess it's time to go. Let's see. Oh! C Chris! Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue adventures, your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. I'll see you soon, honey. Look. Well, now the... I get to explore the town! Why, Barbie? Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on my pr on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Dude. You can see I'm having a ball! <laughs> yes, I see that. Teens, um, there's the anime preview. We didn't, uh... <laughs> yes! Teens Corner, monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had you too as her first exposure to the series. Let her tell you it makes you one look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without saying a beach ball. Not to mention Mimi's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece signed the anonymous yellow lizard. Alphys. 
You are not a teenager. Gotta go to college, so Tim's stubby. Hard. She's reading a comic full of pot demon guys. Well, I guess that's... Gotta go to college. That's not studying, sweetheart! <laughs> uh, she survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. Out of Draw Dragons is 2,583 days every day. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. I think Asriel's the one who borrowed it. Uh oh. Ah, did you forget what it looks like? The front is perhaps a mob driving. Mob dragon wearing lipstick. And as for her clothes, I believe they are well. You know, Chris, I think you'll know it when you see it. Um. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. What? <laughs> This must be what they meant by playwright. <laughs> it's an unlabeled book. Look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no. They're putting it into their catalog. Oh no. I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Remember my name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot Fire Guy. Oh, yeah! Lord of the Hammer. First in the award winning fiction series. I lauded the story in Gerson Boom. Ah! Look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game! <laughs> Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Computer lab. Please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. <laughs> I love reading books, especially books upstairs. You should really read them. Um, well... I don't think you're gonna let me yet. Oh, I died. What happened? Hey, punk, get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Asgore. So maybe Toriel and Asgore are still married in this uh, universe after all. Sorry, I'm a little uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Aw, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Hey, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank! Got something to report? Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Hey, did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. <laughs> You're as good as dead. She doesn't know Alphys in this game. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's stuff a lot against dark worlds anyway. That's the job for the school board. That's a terrible voice for <laughs> That's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. Oh yes, the beads march grimly along their set path. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Uh, sure. Link. What? 
has no hair. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Icy as a model. At zero pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. He looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory pant piano was hiding inside. Why is there two sinks? It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to creep. <laughs> Diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. Oh, Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Well, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Oh, really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's the dra House Dragon Blazers 3 beat it yet? Ah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. I'm <laughs> fine, you I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh. That's the grown-up, that's the group project voice. Nerd guy again, what's his name, Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly, he's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. You're gonna bring him by the window, I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris, be a little friendlier. <laughs> oh. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. I get the creepy kid right in front of me. Ah -ha. Okay, okay, seriously. You wanna chat or something? Sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. I remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Because it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's tough about being in here, Chris, not what's going on with me, just that in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some dust. Yeah, it's no big deal, nothing the holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Bam. Chris, even if we're grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey. Now that Asriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Yeah, I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whoa. She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. When she hit me clear across the room with a cute line pie, <laughs> I got smashed into the ta snack table and toppled over. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? It ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. <laughs> Patient name Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? <laughs> I 
that's everything here. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck! I, I guess I should just run away. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best! I feel really direct! <laughs> You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Well then. How am I supposed to go home? Oh yeah. The mayor's charisma is about... Zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Hey, short stuff, why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low, ate too much candies, lost your frisbee in the wash. Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. <laughs> Looks like Konzo, but yeah, they were aliens. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father... Oops. Father Alvin, implore you that if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participated to any extent instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Okay, I see now he is a turtle. <laughs> but he's just wearing a hat. That threw me off. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Ooh. This must be one of the other chapters. Run, Chris, run! <laughs> it's a weird animation. Oh, this is a graveyard. M Muddler. Muddler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Oh. So, Gerson didn't survive in this uh, universe. And the people who got turned into... Well, I mean, I don't think Shiren got turned into it. it. What's the word I'm looking for? Not abomination. Well, I'm sure you guys know what I'm trying to say. Go up. This is taking a long. See? <laughs> hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? <laughs> oh God! Which do I see? You know, good question. Oh, man, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? I mean, it's the grocery store. He even put his name on it. Fortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy something. I ought to complain to the guy who runs it. He's moved here, so I hardly know anything. Got anyone I should know better? Well, they're tired. <laughs> you can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. <laughs> Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like you got Sam's number.
Alphys, yeah, I know her about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Baden small bills, insulin gel the place, jams trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is a business, so I guess I'll just let her do the thing. <laughs> Your mother, huh? Too late. Alright, you friended your mom what? <laughs> <laughs> she's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses, but she's gonna lock the door to stop you from eating. Uh, you sound like a fun kid, huh? <sighs> hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some milk. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. She probably has a date more. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be a word. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Papyrus! No response with the distant trousel of bones. What, what is, what is Trassel anyway? Knock, knock, knock. Who, are you the human that lives at the top of the hill? Now my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> oh, there's a baby bunny. I see you up there. Is that Monster Kid's sister? Oh, yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Where's the other kid? I mean, I never saw her beating anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, me, Snowy, and Joe Jockington were playing and ball, and she just crept creepily watching us from the corner. And then when the ball rolled over to, she, to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right now Officer Undyne's car. And Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us a handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> well, she's learned a lesson, you know. Oh, Chris, you look kind of annoyed. Everything okay? Calm down now, dude. Susie's not here. <laughs> huh? You look even more annoyed. Yep. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> I skipped class. My dad never let me hear the end of it, huh? It's actually not even remotely funny. Ah, uh, it's a repeat. Come on. Diner. Maybe I can eat something. Caddy! You're alive. Nice. Or I'm working. What's the name of the oh, we'll take the special. Do you have any any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Are they dragons? Oh cool! Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Why? So for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Ah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. Got nervous, I just smelled all the ice. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. <laughs> hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. To order you a hot chocolate, and you two sit down at the table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Oh, hot chocolate on the house, hun. Thank you. What? Ice me up! Ice me up! <laughs> 
he's wearing a hat. I see he's pizza. Would you be interested in trying some of our 24 pizza pizza flavors? We've got normal. Cheese. Ice. Gravy. Double ice. Pepperonis. More. So I'm down at Icy's Pizza. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second, I recognize you. <gasps> Little buddy, it's me! Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? You know, when Assy's coming home, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around. Hey, yeah, on like old times, picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. This universe's form of burger pants. Ah, oh, yes, little buddy. Good idea, meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears. Soft serve of cess, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy, you got it. Actually, does that guy even work here? Uh, my co workers, where would I be without them? Happy place, little buddy, a much happier place. Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy is a pizza. Icy's pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. <laughs> but it's okay, little buddy. You've been safe. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. And I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. <sighs> Unfortunately, college takes a lot of money. Facts I know far too well. Alright, Icy's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Icy, Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. Entrance is locked, no one's inside, seems like all the employees are outside in costume, why? He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Huh? <laughs> Douglas? Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's out there getting a big brain in the big school. Hope when he becomes a big shot, he remembers this little guy down the street. Eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. Dude. Are oranges that bad for cats? <laughs> Little Chrissy, like what's up? Give Aunt Kitty a hug! Mwah, mwah, mwah! Ah, ha, 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 I'm not even actually your aunt! Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything though, your choice. Oh my god, Ezreal, like what a kitty pie! You remember when he and me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever, even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun till him I said hi. Okay, let's see. Sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We like totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she liked to me. My playing is an anti blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Neighbors. Like that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like, my life villain. Like the other day, I went to see Cat Petters too, and the only other person in the theater was her? And I went to uh, QC, uh, QC's in order to cap cappuccino, and she was like, well, I already drinking one, and she's such a copycat. Uh, copy gator? 
Apisaurus? Crocodile? I don't know, she sucks. <laughs> you have a grill and you're serving frozen cat food. Like, dude. Pissy! Like, one more and we'll see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Oh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hair in that girl for like your whole body. Okay. Remember that time you had to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Let's get some burgers, and then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. And then it is a miniature cakes, and they were so good, I ate, like, six. And then I'm, like, so I got so sick, I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? <laughs> I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why didn't you pants on home? Is that Mediton? Flower? <gasps> oh! Dum -de -dum. Is someone there? Is someone there? Let's finish watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? <gasps> oh, Chris! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Uh, well now, make yourself at home, Chris. Make yourself to anything you like. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Oh, It's a flower. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine and me. I was thinking. Why is he walking when he's talking? Perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner. Just the whole time. It's my treat. Does that sound yummy? Oh, yeah. That sounds like a good time. Various flowers inside. It's upstairs. Oh my gosh. This is a small TV on top of some superhero comics. A rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're ever if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking mo monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. It would be Noel's dad. I'll look happy. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. I guess he's trying to shave. It's a door. It's locked. A dirty watering can. Various bags of soil. Oh. A cyan flower protected in a container. Oh, it's a light blue one. A blue flower. Purple flower. Golden flower. Yellow flower. Green flower, orange flower. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could, or use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Uh, yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. That means gold is a soul color or not. Red? Oh. <laughs> okay then. Oh. oh, Chris, before you go. Another hug? Here for your mother. Our secret. Got the bouquet of flowers. Oh, thank you. Have a great day, Chris. Flower King. Oh, it's your dad's truck. 
The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. <sighs> Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. Oh. I'll pick no tables, but the, isn't these the two guys that were in love? Oh, we, I guess we can come back here and plant something. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> well, well, hi, Chris. Do you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so well, I actually got a few things ready for you, Case. Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See so, yeah, at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Oh, yes, yeah. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. You didn't come back to class. I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her if that's okay? But she's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Oh, wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? But really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though so honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Hey, hi Chris, is something up? Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why didn't you go to the hospital? Spittle to see my dad. I mean, I'm sure he appreciate it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Oh, it's okay. That's what I get for exploring. Sorry, Noel. <laughs> huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I am... I mean, I... You know... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll go over... I'll just go over to Caddy's. Huh? I hope you'll be okay. At least, until your... Mom gets home your mom's van. Oh, I can go in. Nope, can't go in the back. I guess there's no backyard, technically. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? <laughs> to talk to her. I want to talk to Goat Mom. Chris, what is it, honey? Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we brought about that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Chris, what is it, honey? Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Er, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Remember that video game that Asriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? <laughs> Close enough. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. Yoshi... I love Yoshi too. I mean, how can you not love Yoshi? We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. <laughs> oh, I remember. We once got my brother a birthday cake shaped like the original Game Boy Advance. That was very fun. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <gasps> green eggs and ham! It's a book of hymns. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. That's 
trash can, somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. There's a photo on the fridge. Okay, yeah, it's the same one from before. I got two regular do dollars. Yeah, I've reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press one for idiots, two for babies, three for idiot babies, and four for none. Hey, uh, you're an idiot baby. <laughs> to tell the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Like. Okay, this makes a little more sense now, but also why? Because <laughs> Chris is obviously not using it. It's not a small container of Appleson shampoo. That's for Chris. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Tutorial. There are many books. Tales of snails. Oh yeah, snails do not have tails. Can snails help your garden? The history of humans and monsters. A cactus. Oh yeah, this is. A crayons in the drawer. It's only you. Ah. Well, what if? What would it have said instead? What did you do to that bird? Oh yes, and the younger sibling must use the knockoff controller. Not always. I think I kind of like them. They're designed more. Mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Drawer. Go to bed. This chapter of your adventures will end. Yeah, I think that's done. I'm done. You decide to go to bed. And I think that is everything. Man, this um, ended up being a lot longer than I expected. You okay there, Chris? You having a nightmare? Or are you just rolling over? He <laughs> just exploded out of the bed. That's different. Chris? Please tell me you're sleepwalking. start to grow and the places that you know seem like fantasy there's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth the promise in our heart 
don't forget I'm with you in the dark Ooh. Vocals and everything Well, that was certainly an unexpected ending. I, I really want to play more, and whenever uh, Toby Fox releases the next chapter, like, I'm not the best player, but I really just want to get know more about the story, and it's like, what just happened to Chris? Oh, gosh, he just, like, ripped his own heart out. Or is it their, their own heart? But, um... Anyway, that was an unbelievable ending, and, um, I really liked the way the game played. I mean, it was, like, it's definitely, you know, takes after Undertale, but it's definitely something new, and, um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I think that's, you know, all I can fit into the, today's episode, but if there are any other games you would like to hear, uh, watch me play, um, you know, listen to my silly voice, I'm a very silly panda. Anyway, <laughs> anything else you'd like to watch me play, you can go ahead and suggest it in the comments below, and, um, uh, Thank you for watching. I'm Brushfire, signing off.